Bonjour, Miss Me. My name is Freya, and it is 11:30 p.m. and I forgot to record a video today. So I'm playing Kerbal Space Program in my Star Trek pajamas. Let's dive right in. I'm gonna do more training because um, I actually want to see if I can get somewhat decent at this game. So where was I? I think I was on intermediate construction. Let's start. Okay, to business. And remove the motor. Is that the motor? Oh, I don't remember the controls at all. Right click on the parachute. Verify its deployment is set to 1000, but set the minimum pressure slider all the way to the right. Change the name of the craft. Um. Flabwoobin. Flabwoobin. I need a mystery goo containment unit. This unit was something one of our engineers came upon while dumpster diving. Oh, there's a symmetry tool! That would have been helpful! Okay, so now I need a decoupler. Yes, yes, okay, and the staging stack. Once you place the first tank, you can duplicate it by holding the left alt key and clicking. Ah, I see, I see. As with many of the games I play, I am really surprised at how in-depth this is. <laughs> Hate those sounds, though. We can't achieve orbit with it, though. I think I'm supposed to launch it. I actually didn't read that last panel. Jebediah, my friend! Okay. I don't remember how to start. Hope that wasn't it. Oops. No, no, I don't want to do it all over again. Oh. I'm gonna make the flob woobin all over again. But I'm gonna do it in sandbox mode and see what the heck I did wrong. Wait, I don't, I don't actually know if I can find the things. I don't think this was it. But I'm gonna go with it anyway. Wait, I forgot the... The separator thing. Ah, heck it. Oh! Feel free to hang around a bit and try your hand at other things too, or perhaps you could look at the next lesson on suborbital flight, where we will see just how well this rocket performs. Okay. Suborbital flight, let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna be tilting a lot, trying to keep it in the pink indicator. After burnout, coast up into space and have a look around, prepare for re-entry, and land safely. Left shift, throttle up. Left control, throttle down. Z, throttle max, X, throttle cutoff. Oh, there is something to stop the spinning. <laughs> okay. Okay, um... You might have noticed some flickering flames near the end of our burn there, which is due to the high speed of your craft in the atmosphere. Normally our ascent would be a little slower, but I'm sure my friend Werner has helped you build a ship that can withstand this heat. Oh boy, we're floating. How are you holding up, Jebediah? Am I not clear of the atmosphere? He said once you're clear of the atmosphere, we'll go over- Oh, okay, okay. 
Feel free to play with the goo canisters now by right-clicking on them. Observe mystery goo. The goo seems to have clumped into a sphere. It also appears to have become brittle. Detailed info. <laughs> it's best to re-enter bottom first. So you want to aim the top of the capsule at the 70 degree pitch line with the opposite heading. Is that, is that not it? There's so many markers on the, is that it? That might be it. Can't actually read what's on the nav ball. Uh -huh. Ah, got it, okay, cool. Hold steady. Get rid of that booster. Stage to disco- Wait, I, I didn't- The indicator's gone. Wait, what do I do? The music stopped. Okay. Re-entering. Arm the chute. Okay. Don't touch the pressure slider or bad things will happen. Okay, so I have to try that next time. Look at the bottom of the capsule. I'm not sure how you want me to do that, bud. Oh, there we go. I do not have a heat shield. I don't need one because it's a gentle flight. So around 2,000 meters, the chute will deploy itself. Is, is what I'm getting from this. It says safe to deploy on the thing. Hypothetically, I feel like I could tip the pressure thing down and it would be fine. But I, I won't. So the mystery goo jiggles and wobbles in the, um, in the atmosphere, but becomes brittle in space. Yay! Hooray! And Jebediah survived! He might not next time, because I am definitely going to see what happens if you change the pressure on the chute. Uh, I think Werner said something about sudden stop syndrome. I don't actually remember if he called it that, but it was definitely something about being a sudden stop. My best guess is that the chute will um, decrease the velocity so abruptly that everything in it will get smushed. Like being in a car and it hits a brick wall, you know? Okay. Choose revert to launch from the pause menu. Okay. From upper atmosphere, the goo seems to be getting cold. Did that a little early. Didn't mean to. Oops. Oh, I'm still going up! Whoopsie daisy. Okay, now I'm going down. Oh, Jebediah looks like he's having a great time. Okay. So now, what happens if I just take this and I... No? Nothing yet. Gotta wait till we're descending a little bit faster. How about at a thousand meters per second? No? Okay. Ah, uh, I'm starting to see, uh, indications of stuff. No, I don't think it's actually going to let me ruin it. Yeah, no, it wouldn't let me ruin it. Tragic. What if I cut it? Oh no, your chute is gone. You staged your chute while going too fast and it ripped up. There isn't much that can be done now. It's shredded to ribbons. So is this gonna kill Jebediah? He looks unconcerned. Aw oh, shucks, something went terribly wrong here. 
<laughs> I'll send someone to clean that up and you can try again. Alright, I better be getting to bed. So, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed, let me know in the comments below. If you want to see more Kerbal Space Program, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!